With Mandalorian culture and stories becoming so much more popular recently, people seem to have forgotten the fact that the true nature of the Mandalorian people is one of brutality, war, conquest and destruction. They even went as far as to commit mass genocide upon a race that was defeated and begging for mercy. And why did they do it? Well, a little bit of revenge, but really, just because they could. In 3996 BBY, the newly proclaimed Sith Lord Exar Kun, along with Ulic Keldroma, joined forces with Mandalore the Indomitable and his Mandalorian armies. The two forces united swept across the galaxy like an unstoppable storm, but as quickly as it had risen, it came to a catastrophic end. Exar Kun and Ulic were defeated, and Mandalore led his remaining armies to their doom over the skies of Onderon. A key reason to their defeat over the course of the year was the unification of many species within the Galactic Republic, and one species in particular, the Cathar, were at the front line of the Republic's defence due to their formidable nature as warriors. Cathar soldiers often found themselves embarrassing the Mandalorian warlords in battle, and this dishonour would become spread knowledge throughout the surviving Mandalorian ranks. In the following decades, the Mandalorians secretly rebuilt their strength on the Moon Duxon, now led by Mandalore the Ultimate and his second-in-command, Cassus Fett. And instead of recruiting based on blood, they recruited everybody who was willing to fight for the Mandalorian ideology, even slaves. By the year 3976 BBY, the Mandalorians had been coerced by the Sith into getting revenge on the Republic, and so Mandalore led his newly reformed Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders and began attacking and conquering worlds in the Outer Rim. And thus, the Mandalorian Wars begun. After three years into their crusade, the Republic still hadn't yet taken much of an interest in their activities, and for their second major battle, Cassus Fett reminded Mandalore of the Cathar people and the embarrassment they suffered at their claws 20 years earlier. So, they began preparations to destroy the planet Cathar as an act of vengeance and as a statement. Cassus Fett personally led the assault on Cathar and caught the species completely unaware. His ships exited hyperspace and immediately launched an orbital bombardment, obliterating their communications arrays and their defensive capabilities, denying them the chance to call for aid or even protect themselves. His armies then swiftly descended onto the planet and began to slaughter not just the men, but the women and the children too, showing not a single ounce of mercy as the Cathar species tried to flee helplessly against their onslaught. And despite the Mandalorian's overwhelming advance, some Cathar tried valiantly to resist, causing the battle to extend out for longer than the Mandalorians wanted, but Cassus swept across the planet with his regiment of basilisk war droids, scorching the towns and cities below until barely any Cathar survived. Some Cathar, mostly young children, had managed to squeeze past the Mandalorian blockade, escaping the battle in refugee ships, but as the battle came to a close, the Cathar across the planet that had managed to miraculously survive the initial assault were rounded up by Cassus Fett without prejudice. Then, as they were grouped, the Mandalorian army began to push the herd of Cathar into the ocean, shooting those who refused. As the last of the Cathar people were up to their necks in water, Cassus ordered a group of basilisk war droids to hover above the crowd, but before he could continue, a Mandalorian woman exited her ranks and jumped in defence of the doomed species, pleading that they were beaten and didn't need further punishment. Cassus, despite vying for blood, honestly held respect for this woman, commending her bravery, but he insisted this wasn't about beating them, it was about vengeance and eradicating them to stamp their authority and make their mark on the galaxy. With the woman still in the water alongside the surviving Cathar, Cassus gave the order, and the war droids bombarded the ocean from above, firing their entire artillery might into the screaming crowd below. And with this action, Cassus and the Mandalorians had committed their final act of mass genocide. The events on Cathar went unknown for almost a decade until the Mandalorians' atrocities were discovered in a vision by the young Jedi Knight Revan, but the damage had already been done. Over 90% of the Cathar species were killed, causing their near extinction. However, Cassus for his war crimes became the most wanted man in the galaxy, and Revan's vision became the catalyst of changed fortunes for the Republic in what was, at that moment, a losing war. I hope you're all enjoying The Mandalorian Season 2 and their resurgence in popularity as a culture, and if you enjoyed this video, perhaps consider subscribing to see more content just like this. 
Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel further. And please, come and join my Discord server. I'd love to have you there. All the links are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you. Always. Thank you.